I'm Emma Baldry. Um, I do various charity work for LGBT charities and also deliver training on LGBT awareness. Hello, my name is Anne Jones. I'm the managing director of a business called Purple Tie Promotions that provides women speakers for all types of events and I'm also a Royal Naval Reservist. At the weekend we got engaged. Um, <laughs> Uh, I was asked to speak at the start of Liverpool Pride. Um, I was part of help rescuing it and keeping it going uh, last year. So I was asked to, to stand and talk to everybody at the beginning of this year's one. So I was up on stage doing my bit, talking about um, enjoying Pride and um, about the messages behind it. I finished my spot, I handed the microphone back over to the person um, taking over from me and turned around and uh, saw somebody else appearing on stage from behind me. <laughs> um, I was at Liverpool Pride in a Royal Naval Reserve capacity um, doing some engagement uh, for them and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to propose to Emma, um, firstly because it's our home city um, and we, we do have all of our friends and family there as well and it's just that Liverpool Pride um, especially this year is very poignant after everything that happened in Orlando. Um, and also they had a campaign running called uh, Coming Out of the Shadows, which for me is very poignant um, and it, it just seemed the perfect place to, to ask um, the question. So uh, yeah, Anne was handed the mic um, and said sort of similar what she's just said about the Coming Out of the Shadows being quite a, a poignant message for her than Liverpool being the best place for her to ask a particular question, at which point she turned around and went down on one knee and I started crying as uh, you just about got to, to get the words will you marry me out and uh, I said yes whilst nodding through tears and um, then we came off the stage and continued in the march and it was a fantastic day of lots of people coming up to us throughout the day saying congratulations. Yeah and there's one one story later on in the day um, about, the, about the young girl if you want to. Yeah there was a kind of spent the whole day um, just quite nice, chilled, sun out, you know, hanging around and people were coming up to us and, and saying congratulations. But the one that stood out for us was uh, there was a teenager and uh, she came over and she was like, oh, congratulations. And she gave us a hug and she was like, when I was watching your proposal, I was crying my eyes out. She said, because it was so beautiful, but also it made me think I, that could be me too. Um, and I think that's, that was a really important thing. And, and we're part of diversity role models in the Northwest. And one of our friends said to us, you know, great role modelling up there. And actually, it's sunk in now that actually that, that is what that was as well. It was us showing to anybody who was there, who was younger, that, that you can find the right person and, and you can now get to that point of being proposed to and be married, which when we were, when, were this girl's age, it would, it would never have been even a, a possibility, let alone a dream, really. So for it to be a reality now is, is amazing. I think, um, I think again, it's kind of dependent on where you live as to how accepting people are of same-sex couples um, and same-sex female couples as well. Um, I, yeah, I used to live in North Yorkshire and at the time I was with someone and it was, it was kind of almost only gays in the village kind of scenario and, and people would, we had a pub and people would almost come to visit the pub to see what the lesbian landladies looked like. Um, and I know that's slowly changing now, but I think it's it's that difference of culture depending across across the UK as to where you are and where you reside. And I think within cities, it can be a lot easier, I think, than than out in in the countryside. And I think that's where maybe there needs to be more of a a cultural shift now that that what's going on in the cities needs to be feeding into the countryside, but I'm not quite sure how, how you would do that, really. For, for me, it's, a, it's an educational piece, um, and that's why we are both involved with diversity role models, um, because going into schools, um, challenging people, getting the kids to look at how they use their language and getting them to challenge their perceptions of what they think that LGBT people do and look like. Um, it's definitely an educational piece and it, it's, it's good to have the organisations like Internet Engineering that do support our work as well. Um, lot, a few of their members are diversity role models as well and obviously they help with fundraising. Um, 
Are the only plans we've made so far are going to um, give notice, um, hopefully this weekend, um, mm -hmm. and then then that gives us a kind of 12 month window to to find a venue and get things sorted. But I don't think it'll take us that long. We've been together two years, known each other for for longer, and when you find the right person, you know it's right. And why wait around? Yeah.